Hey, this is Steven from Legit PC, and uh, today we're going to take a look at an air benchmark called the uh, Y Crusher, and this is version uh, 6.1. Came out uh, February of this year, 2013, and uh, this is kind of similar to uh, Super Pi, what I did last week, except for this one is multi-threaded. Uh, so you could have, you know, multi-core processor or m even uh, hyper-threading or whatever your particular uh, CPU um, has and uh, what kind of framework it uses. So uh, this particular one has got a lot of different benchmarks, but in this case, uh, uh, here's the main menu. It just runs on a CMD, you know, um, command prompt uh, or DOS box, whatever you want to call it. So... And then it has different kinds of things here in this home menu here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit um, I'm going to hit zero. Make sure it's selected here, and then I'm going to hit zero. Hit enter, and then I'm going to say I want multi-threaded. You could also do a single-threaded benchmark. And then now it's going to ask you how many decimal places uh, you could do. Now this particular uh, uh, benchmark uses a lot of RAM. It needs a lot of memory, uh, a lot of storage and RAM. And I have 8 gigs, but of course I have things running in the background. So anything that's highlighted is what I'm able to, um, what I'm able to run. So in this case, I, could, I only have 4. Point, uh, a little, a little bit more than 4.27 gigs uh, that I could allocate. Uh, I think it's just like 4.30. So, but of course that's going to take way too long. So I'm going to do a 500. Um, uh, so I'm going to do the 500 instead of uh, the bigger one, number six, which uh, allocates 4.27. I'm going to do the one that takes only 2.17 uh, gigs. So we're going to go ahead and jump into that. And uh, so what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to hit um, four. I'm going to want to hit five. Oh, sorry about the five. And then uh, we're going to hit zero. And it's going to tell you the, the type of algorithm and the constant we're looking at. Uh, pi, pi, uh, digits of pi. And then it's going to use this formula. How many digit places? And we're not looking at any hexadecimal digit, four thread RAM only. So yeah, so we're gonna run this up uh, up their benchmark. And other different uh, benchmarks that you could try that are in there, and, and uh, you do those if you want. Get in here, I might even try another one. I'm not I'm not quite sure, but this is the main main main. You know, you set it up memory that you ask it to. In this case, it's uh, 2.19 gigs, and. Um, of course, if you have more gigs, you could allocate and do more tests on this particular one where you could just have it do indefinite uh, going and not stop. Uh, but in this case, we're only going to do a certain number. So uh, when it's finished with that number, it's going to give us a time to get that. Of, uh, we compare that to other CPU types and whatnot, and then to get a good idea of so yeah, so it should just take a little bit longer, and uh, we'll maybe try a stress test and uh, run that for maybe a minute or something, and uh, check out how that works. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna be way, but I don't know how much exactly uh, of the RAM it will take, and I don't even know if I have that many that much RAM uh, that I could allocate. So we're at 70 percent, almost done with all the digits, and uh, then after that we'll be able to. Uh, Check out the stress test and then finish it off. So this one's a little more accurate than the than the Super Pi because the Super Pi is only a thread and this is a multi-thread program. As well as, of course, this one doesn't really have an interface, right? It's just a CMD or a DOS. But, um, yeah. Here we go, we're getting some times. All right, so in this particular time, you don't really know. You don't really need to know exactly what it's doing. The program's doing. You, you just use this information to uh, to check with others to see what exactly you're getting. So here's some of the numbers I'm getting here, and you could uh, test the same thing with uh, with what I have and uh, see how your CPU stacks up to mine. This is i5 3570K, eight gigs of uh, DDR3 at 1666, I think. And uh, you know stock clock of the CPU. So yeah, here's the end time. 
total computation time right here total time with output plus verify and then uh, CP, CPU utilization, I'm guessing that's percent sign, and uh, the core efficiency, blank, uh, whatever. And then here, of course, it says the version 6.1, the build, and it's got my processor i5 3570K at uh, 3.40, uh, four logical cores, 8 gig, 8 point. Uh, so 8 gigs, um, CPU frequency is a 3.4, like it says over here, a little bit over. Um, and it is also, yeah, that is a little inaccurate. I think it's 3.51. But anyways, yeah. And then uh, it writes it into a file, I'm guessing, and it says uh, benchmark successful. And so I'm... All right, and uh, we are back looking at uh, the Y Cruncher, and I'm just going to run it in a uh, stress test. And just for you guys' entertainment, I have uh, this um, my core temp down here. So, yeah, so down here is going to say my core temp while I run the, the, the stress test. And my fan was going crazy after uh, the first one. So, threads 4, time for test, 120, algorithm to test. And we're going to go ahead and hit zero and start test. And, it, you know, it says watch out for overclocking, whatever. So now it jumped up from 11 watts, 39 watts, and it's definitely working on it. And temps jumped up from, uh, I think it was like 40, and now it's at 50, climbing, climbing to 60. So you can see that this is definitely good for a like a 24-hour burn-in, or you're checking to make sure that your overclocking will be stable, and uh, you know you'll run it for a while or whatever. Yeah, it's definitely a good tool to have, and it will help you uh, make sure that your rig will not do throw any errors if you're doing something like a long video render, or you're rendering a movie or whatever. You made a movie and you're rendering it, or you're rendering a a large scene with a lot of buildings or whatever. So uh, this is definitely something that you would want to try, as well as if you're doing, like I said, video editing in Vegas or Premiere or whatever, and uh, you got to do a long video with a lot of effects and things like that. So, uh, or if you're just testing your cooling system, I think it's a great way to test a cooling system. Make sure it doesn't break down on you when you're in a game with your graphics turned up and things like that. So, uh, yeah. Um, that's uh, pretty much it for this benchmark. So uh, I'm at 60, 60C uh, on most of uh, all my cores. And uh, yeah, so so I just want to show you guys this uh, particular benchmark. I mean, it's a multi, it's basically a multi-thread version of the last benchmark I showed you guys last week, the, the Super Pi. And um, so it definitely could go cycle through the, the Pi digits a lot quicker if you have multiple threads thrown at it, four threads instead of a single thread on a single core. So, uh, yeah, I'm running an i5 3570K, and uh, it's, a, it's a pretty great program. I mean, it's like a 4, four megabyte download, and, uh, you know, it just runs on DOSBox. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been Steven from LegitPC on the Y Cruncher version 6.1, released in February of 2013. And, uh, yeah, so, I, I mean, it's going to do all of the tests pretty much and check for errors. But, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please uh, subscribe for more videos like it, and thanks.